When most people think of tourism in Botswana, majestic open plains and wildlife come to mind. And most tourists would simply bypass the country's capital to go up north to destinations like Maun and the salt pans. Now, thanks to Precious Ramotswe and her number one ladies detective agency, tourists are flying to Khabaroni to see the sites that feature in this popular book series. The books written by Alexander McCall Smith are now hitting the small screen in the form of a once-off film broadcast and now a TV series. Africa Insight is a family-run company specializing in tours in and around Khabaroni, and they've got the rights to the number one ladies detective agency tour. Before five or six years ago, nobody came to Khabaroni as a destination in itself. In fact, if you read some of the guidebooks, you will find it's not even mentioned. Um, some guidebooks to Botswana simply don't go further south than the Okavango Delta. And so it was actually quite hard work making Khabaroni a destination in itself. Um, but we were very lucky because, um, because of the profile of the books and the interest that, that um, they generated, we had a lot of press interest initially and it got very quickly onto, um, onto the map. We were actually invited by the author, Alexander McCall Smith, to do the tours based on his books. Um, we were wandering around with him and a, a film crew a few years ago. And one of the people which we were interviewing for that film um, said, hey, someone should do a, 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 um, a tour based on these books. So he turned around to me and said, well, you do tourism, why don't you do one? <laughs> From housewives in the US to business people in Europe, Ma Ramotswe seems to strike a chord in just about everyone. So what makes her so special? It's probably because she's a little bit idealized. She represents a type of person that people like to imagine. She's also very real, and you find a lot of people around the city, around the country, um, who could be Precious Ramotswe. But what most people don't realize is that the Khabaroni of the first few books is a lot different from the one we see today. One, one of the things that people comment on, probably one of the first things to comment on, is the fact that the, the, the city isn't, they don't find it as they expected. Um, and they don't realize the pace of development. So although the first book was written in 1996, which is what, 13 years ago, um, there's been such a huge change in the city since then. Um, we drive around and they expect to see a tiny little provincial town almost, and it's actually a fairly developed modern city now. Botswana may be getting a whole lot bigger, busier and faster, but anyone here will tell you that sometimes taking it slow is not only more rewarding, but an essential part to doing business in Botswana. And as Mara Motwe might say, so is having a cup of red bush tea.